We're up early today. It's about what is it like eight? It's probably like eight in the morning. It's eight in the morning. Been up since seven, but just been chilling inside for a bit. I'm gonna give y'all a quick video of the Danes. I don't know. I'm a little bored right now. They don't really know what to do. Might uh, do a little wake and bake right now. That's probably about it. But I wanted to give y'all a quick video this morning. Showing y'all the dogs. Showing y'all Hercules. I know Hercules. Someone had a few questions asked about Hercules. Yeah. Like I said, he is a Merle. As you can see, it looks like mud, but it's not mud. All them muddy colors and on his chest, bottom of his mouth. Uh, pretty much his whole bottom side, you can see all the Merle, honestly. Once you get up close, you can see the Merle. You got Harley Quinn, which is pretty much another Merle, to be completely honest, but they call it Harley Quinn. To me, I think it's just another color, color of Merle, to be honest, or some type of Merle. Um, but yeah, he's about to be two years old. He just turned a year old in January. She's Hercules' brother, so sister, I mean. Litter mates right there. And they, all three of them are AKC registered. I had someone hit me, why you get to charge $1,000 for stud fees when they ain't even registered, bro? My dogs are registered. You see that? Look at that. Look at that structure on the Great Day. Straight feet, straight back. Nice frame. Same thing right there. These dogs are fully AKC registered. If anyone is interested, when I do sell them, I will sell them for $750, no paperwork at all. 1000 limited registration. What AKC does is they have something that actually lets you sell the paperwork with a, with no breeding rights, unlike some of the bully, um, like, um, you see what I've noticed, like ABKC, USBR, and stuff like that. They, you know, either you sell the dog with the paperwork and you got breeding rights or you sell the dog with no paperwork. And the dog's not paperwork. What AKC does is, so you can buy this dog and say, say you want to put them in shows. You want to go and you want to compete them in the national circuits and the, you know, regional circuits and stuff for AKC. You can do that with limited registration. You just can't breed. And technically you can breed, but you're not going to have registered puppies, obviously. And I don't put it in my contract, but I will say there's a lot of Great Dane breeders or breeders that work with AKC that if you do limited, then you have a litter. And, um, you know, you have a, uh, a litter, obviously, of unregistered puppies. And they find out they're able to take the dogs from you within the contract rights. Because, you know, what's the whole point of selling your limited registration if you're just going to go sell Great Danes with no paperwork, you know, for a cheap price, which I don't mind. I don't care. That's on you. I'm still getting paid, you know, like I said, you know, I feel like this is a good price for the Danes. I've seen people here in Texas sell Danes for 1000 without no registration. Parents ain't registered. Grandparents ain't registered. These are fully registered. I got all the pedigrees for them. And like I said, I'm going to be selling the, the pups fully registered for 1500 Limited registration where you can only go to shows and put them in shows for 1000 and if you don't want no paperwork at all it's 750 i don't really like to do that but i don't mind it like i said i don't mind selling pet pet homes dogs to pets if i see something that's really nice and structured i'm really going to try to sell it at least as limited registration because you know i would like to see some of my dogs compete i would like to see someone i would like to people like to see people take my my generations to compete look at oh my god he's so beautiful you know it's crazy people don't believe that he's older than diesel because he's you know obviously he's a little a little shorter a little shorter but like i said there's two different types of great danes there's american then there's european which these are both though these are only 85 percent european the other 15 percent is american blood he has a little bit more of the European features. You see how much more his face drags compared to her. How much more toned he is. How much more wide and framed he is. That's all European. So European, you know, you get a little shorter structure, but you get a better, like, a better frame. See, she has, 
She has the European, the uh, American frame right there. That's an American frame. You see that? He has it too. That small little frame, but she has the European face. He's not as obviously as saggy as them on the side lips or nothing. You know, they're just a little bit more droopy. American, if you want, you know, tall, skinny, lanky, that's American. I feed them good, as you can tell. I probably feed them a little too much. I like to spoil them. Um, but you do, I will say for the people that are interested, you do got to be careful with feeding them. They do. You cannot feed them too much food. You can't let them. As much people think, oh, you could have them outside running around all the time. You can. They can be outside all the time. Ain't no thing wrong with that. But you got to teach them to control themselves. You got to teach them to control themselves. Because they cannot exercise that much. They are meant to be inside dogs. When they were made, when they were made, they were bred. They were made to be inside dogs. Sounds stupid, right? Because they're huge as fuck. They are lab dogs. I promise you, these are not... You know what I mean? You can make them into attack dogs. Yeah, they're... I mean, you really don't even got to, you know what I mean? People that come by, they get fucking scared because of the size of the dog and them barking at them. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you want to go that route, you can go to protection dog on them. Um, but they're big old lovable. They're big old lovable guys, man. They just want to be next to, next to family. Always want to be following me. They always want to be by my side. If you want a dog that you can take everywhere, literally everywhere, except, you know, some places, because it's fucking huge. Some places don't allow certain size dogs and stuff like that, but you keep them in your van, you keep them in your car, as long as you have a big enough car. And I'll tell you, these are probably one of the best dogs to have. They do have a lot of health issues, just like any other breeds, so like exactly how y'all say, you know, all exotics are real unhealthy. Danes, y'all talk shit about the expectancy of of exotic bullies great danes technically you know they had they've had a great life once they once they hit over five years old it sounds stupid but um if you search it up the life expectancy usually ain't more than like six seven years for a great dane um just because they do have a they have a lot of issues you can't you have to make sure they don't exercise too much. If they exercise too much, they will grow too fast. They will have joint problems. You're going to have to be taking care of their joints. They're going to have uh, hip dysplasia. They're going to be walking funny. Um, as you can tell, all these dogs, you know, they walk good. Because um, I don't let them exercise that much. I try to, That's why I don't hang around with them that much. Because when I go in there, they want to play around. They want to fuck around. Um, I do it with them, but not a lot. Because they can't. They can't get too excited. They can't be running around too much. Because if they grow too fast, they have... They have joint problems. Then if you feed them too much, they will have problems with their intestines. Their intestines will explode. I am not lying. I have had a friend's a Great Dane that happened to. Um, I'm actually waiting to have a litter so I can give him one. It wasn't from none of my litters or anything. Shh, Penny, behave. Penny, at. Ah, sh, sh, sh. No. Behave. It wasn't from any of my litters. Behave. Shh. They like a rough house. Penny. <whistles> well, anyways, like I was saying, yeah. So they could, they have, you know, a very common issue. Not common, common, but it's it's known in the Great Dane world you know they they have intestinal problems whenever they get fed way too much people think you gotta feed them a shit ton just because they're big ass dogs you gotta have them fed 24 7 no so on these it's pretty much like any other dog you see the rule is you see that you know they're perfect when you see the three back ribs you see those i don't know if you can see them but you can see like the lining of the three back ribs on them the last three ribs, last three or four ribs, that's a pretty good indication that they're perfect on weight. Um, if you don't see them, it might be a little bit over. Penny right now is a little bit over. I've been getting her, I was getting her fat because she might have been pregnant, but didn't, obviously she didn't take. Hey, hey, behave. They out here messing with her. Let me go get, let me fix this up real quick. Uh, they don't get too rough, but you know. People think 
that my dogs are aggressive sometimes just because they be <laughs> playing her. Hey, ah, ah. Like, that's where it starts getting too rough. And she just throws herself on the floor. Look at her. Man, they silly. They silly. Hey, no. Stop it. It's about to rain out here, guys. So, you know, I'm going to be putting them up right now. Like I said, I had to cut the grass. Hey, behave. Shh. Come on. Diesel. Come here, Diesel. You're my baby. Come here. Come here. Who's coming down here? Ooh. The wind is getting crazy, man. Oh, shit. Looks like we're about to have a storm. Everybody's put up over there. Sonny's mad as hell. He's never put up. I'm going to tell you that one. My wife's clothes are never put up, man. Y'all already know how that is. When you got the wife's pets, shit. They get whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, man. Let's, uh, let me get back to y'all right now.